How's it going, guys? Um, back with the update on my Rage Vortex Berserker that I have going. Big thing that happened yesterday um, was I got myself a Soul Taker from the um, one of five div card that gives an axe from um, Caldera and Volcano, whatever that, whatever that card is. So, um. Currently, like, it's just going pretty well. I got a six link. Soul Taker is doing fine. It was better than my previous axe. All of my other gear is still the same. I still haven't even found an anoint yet. I've just been kind of grinding levels. So, I've done some delving on this character, and I'm currently, like, this is going to be my first monster level 83 delve zone. So, I'm going to run that first before I'm trying, going to try and craft an axe here while I'm recording this. So hopefully this goes all right. Should be just fine. Damage has felt okay, but against like single target, it's not quite there. I want it to be better. So there's, there's, I'm sure there's things that I can do. Um, a big thing I want to get is like some kind of frenzy charge generation built in, and yeah, um, whatever the spiked gloves. Um, would help a lot and then i'm going to craft those with um zeal essences to force attack speed on them and hopefully i can get something good off of that that's my goal but you can see like the rares are taking a, a little bit longer to die but this build is a lot of fun it really is um seeing it take down like a, a yellow map boss with just like a single cast of the skill um is really satisfying i gotta say uh, drop my dread banner here so I get some extra fortify effect to help me survive this. Um, getting some way to get vulnerability without casting it would be amazing. Um, I would love to get an presence, but that's not something I just get in SSF easily. Because um, then I just have blasphemy vulnerability, then I'd have a better chance to bleed stuff. But there we go. That, there's a. 83 delve node just i taken out easily and i did a bunch of farming betrayal from june missions and my safe houses were already up in the um 82 83 range then i did all the safe houses on this character i died it one or two times throughout that but i managed to like get the safe houses i got a ton of xp out of doing that as well. So the thing I want to do today is see if I can get a big damage upgrade by crafting a better axe. So let me get a calculator up here. That's not the right button. Button. Calculator here. We've got, well, let's just make this thing smaller. Why don't we? So here we've got 130, 113 plus 211. Plus 211 equals 324 divided by 2 times the attacks per second is 1.88. So 304 DPS X. Now, I don't need the Soul Taker. Soul Taker is really cool because um, insufficient mana doesn't prevent your melee attacks. But the thing is, I'm using my life for everything. The mana is just here to reserve pride, a dread banner, and vitality. Like, I don't need the mana for anything um not even well i would maybe dash is using mana yeah dash is using seven mana and it's just like instantly coming back i guess um that's like the only thing not linked or using life because everything else is linked to a life tap in the links eh, except for berserk but i'm also not really using berserk either um, I've not used it at all. Um, that's going to be waiting for Chain Breakers. So now I've got an item level 85, two item level 85 axes here. Um, I have item level 86 Crusader axe, but I don't think that's the one that we we're going to want. So we need to figure out how we're going to craft this. For that I'm going to use Craft of Exile. And so here I want to go one handed weapon. One-handed axe. Um, 
We're going to go fossils. And I'm pretty sure what I want here. Um, corroded fossils will block fire, cold, lightning, and elemental rolls. So if I put corroded fossil on, it takes out a bunch of stuff. It can't roll resistances anymore. Can't roll the flat, cold, fire, and lightning damage or elemental damage with attacks, which have really high weights. So this is taking a lot of potential mod rolls out completely. And then if I throw jagged fossils on top, um, I'm getting much more likely chance of hitting the fizz rolls. The only big issue is that I can then hit the life and mana stuff, which I could throw dense fossils in to remove the mana or the life leech, but I can still hit mana leech. It removes the life gain on kill and stuff. Um, I don't know that I need to go that route with it. So I do have a decent number of fossils here. Um, with a harvest craft, I converted 20 scorch fossils into corroded fossils. So I've got a good deal of these fossils to be able to do this. It's going to come down to what incubators or what resonators do I have? So... Um, we also saw that, okay, if I put in Corroded, I put in Jagged, and I can put in Dense. So I have a bunch of these too, and let's just see what we get. Once a Rolled Fizz, plus one Gems is a brick. Let's do this again for the other one. All right, I have multiple Axes here, just so that maybe um, I can hit something. This one, this one was close, but not quite. Hit Bloodthirsty, which is really nice, um, but it's not good enough. So, um, while I have these, I guess I'm going to just uh, go ahead and use the dense fossils on these. Because why not? And let's let's socket these things in. Corroded. This is probably the same process you'd go through in Trade League if you wanted to craft something like this. Um, the big thing I want to avoid is like if I, I know a majority of the time that I do this without the dense fossils, I'm gonna hit leech um, because of the increased fizz rolls. So doing it this way with the dense fossils get, prevents some of that. So let's see what we got here. This one. It has room for flat fizz, but no attack speed. So that one's not quite what I want. That one bricked. Low flat fizz. Rich. No. Okay. Okay. This one rolled percent fizz. T like it rolled flaring, so T1 flat. It has room for um, attack speed. Now, if I crafted attack speed on this. It'd probably be about the same as what I got because it has 116 to 221 and then with crafted attack speed it'd probably be very close to the soul taker so that one's not quite there but that's why I have two axes okay this one hit t2 flat t3 hybrid with t7 no open suffix so this one is 143 to 249 this one would be better if I can free up a suffix and then be able to craft attack speed this axe will be better so let's annul and pray. We remove the hybrid. This one bricked as well. Sadly. So we get. Okay. Decent. Still no open suffix there. That one's a brick. What was that? It hit flaring. I can craft really good flat fizz on this, but it's not going to have the speed. And that one didn't go either. I have one more try with the dense fossils. Unless I want to use scourings, which I could very well do. Um. Hmm. This one I could craft flat fizz on. Or percent fizz. So if I went here. Just to see. Like I could craft up to 100. I'm going to just do this for now. Let's see. It's 144 to 257. 154 plus 257 equals divided by 2 times 
5308. So this would be better. This is going to be more damage. This axe is better. Um, um, if it turns out to be the best one, I'm going to craft this flat fizz or percent fizz with the exalt. And this will be the axe. But also, why I mentioned, we have multiple. Um, so I think the dense fossil is probably the play while I have them because I don't have any immediate needs to craft anything with those. But we'll use scourings and see what we can hit on this one. Uh, grab some scours. Fossil crafting is quite the process. But it is very effective. And it's kind of like not as many people know and use fossil crafting as much these days. Um, but they're newer to the game because of harvest crafting and what it brought. Now this one hit 1.9 on the attack speed but it has a low flat. It doesn't have enough of the flat fizz or the percent fizz to make it good. Try again. This one hit the mana leech. So that has a bricked prefix on it. 110. It's not going to cut it. Again. This has... Huh. 162. So it hit Vicious and T Conquerors. So on this one... Yeah, I don't think the Flat Fizz Craft is anywhere near as good. So here we've got 155 to 279. It's back over here. 55 plus 279. Bulls divided by 2 times 1.5. 325. So that one is better than the other one. And I've got five exalts. I really don't have a use for them right now. So we're just going to... We're just going to send it here. Send the exalt. Give me good. Oh, rolled 127. That's very good. That's very, very good. Okay. So this one is for sure, I think, going to be better. So let's see here. 169 to 302. 169 plus 302 divided by 2 times 1.5, 353 on this one. Okay, so now that mean, lets me know, okay, this is the one that I reroll. I would really love to have attack speed on this. Um, the accuracy and crit chance and chance to bleed, it's all really cool. But that's going to be the one. What do we get here? That's not going to touch it. We just got to see if we can beat that. Flaring. So this one has craftable speed. Now, the speed is also an exalt craft. So I'm just going to craft this to see what we're looking at. Calculator back here. What do we got? We have 131 plus 256 equals divided by 2 times 1 point. If I use the exalt on this, let's just say 75. So that's not going to be as good. I just need better fizz rolls on it. Nope, and that one bricked completely. I got four more tries here. Dense, 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 dense. Croated, 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 croated. And jagged, 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 jagged. Nope. Oh. Okay, this one hit bloodthirsty. Okay, this one has two prefixes. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, there's big potential on this. Let's look here. Bestiary. Recipes. Add a prefix, remove a random suffix. Let's go. So this one has an open prefix on it. Um, so what's likely to happen here, like I want to remove any of the suffixes at a prefix. Don't care which one gets removed, then I can craft speed on this, and this is probably going to be the X. If, if this one, if this hits like hybrid, like GG, we, we've got a we've got a juicy one. So we want to add a prefix, remove a random suffix. Here, this is an 81 beast. Hopefully I don't die. Okay. I'm gonna drop this, this, hit that, and okay. There we go. Beast went down. Like I'm like just with the soul the soul taker, it's it's doing pretty good. What did we get? We hit fire damage. Pretty garbage, but now I'm gonna spend an exalt on this too, because I'm a crazy person. Yeah, so I was right with the 1.75. Okay. Calculator. Again. So we've got 142 plus 266 divided by 2 times 1.75357. I think this one was 353. Or is that 353 yeah and this one's 357 they're right around the same this one's gonna be slower but do bigger hits and this one's gonna be faster and do smaller hits so maybe i'll experiment with each of these and see which one does better but there we go there's that now is there any cool stuff i got in here yes i got an abyssus i got a lionized remorse shield which is, I also got 28% quality. Um, this will be huge for shield build. Um, I used Jorgen to hit life on this. Uh, life flat fizz. Amulet. Had Campbellistic right already on it. Um, I got a six link glorious plate. Um, I have level 100 because it was from the div cards. And I got the Queen's Hunger. All regalia, I've never gotten this before, I don't think. Um... Trigger level 20, Bone Offering, Flesh Offering, or Spirit Offering every 5 seconds, and Offering Skills Trigger this way also affect you. This seems really cool. Not gonna lie, seems really cool. Um, so yeah, let's unveil that real quick. And then my Enlighten hit level 3. So first we gotta see if we get level 4 Enlighten. Woo! We got level 4 Enlighten in SSF. The only, the only one of these um, gems to drop. So there's that. Um, chance to block attack damage. Elemental. I think the chance to avoid ailments is probably a good play here. I'm going to do that. What else do we get? One of the suffix. We generate 200 ES per second while a rare or unique enemy is nearby. With 6,000 ES, that's only like 0.3... Wait. 600 would be 10%, so... Two, that'd be... 8,000 would be 2.5%. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of ES regen. Um, soul game prevention, dex and int. Yeah, it's gotta be this. I don't like... I didn't like that one, but... There is that. So, that's where I'm going to leave this today. Tomorrow, I'm going to keep progressing. Um, I'll figure out which one of these axes actually feels better. Um, start pushing higher into red maps and see where this build can go. I've had a lot of fun with this. Um, I love just, like, obliterating, like, it's like a cyclone that you can just throw. And it just, like, devours things. Um, but it is still kind of messy because it doesn't, like, fully clear everything. 
Unless I could like reverse knockback it with the lion's roar and stuff. But it's going to do it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.